Scientists right here in San Diego have created the world's first flip-flop made of algae oil. It's fully biodegradable, it's compostable, and they believe that this is the eco-friendly wave of the future. News 8's Kelly Hesedal spent the day in the lab with them, and she joins us now to talk more about the shoes. Kelly. Yes, I think these are very, very cool. I actually wanted to purchase them, but they're not quite ready for sale. Uh, just yeah, so the concept's very cool. Uh, they're made by scientists at UC San Diego who have founded a company called El Genesis. Their mission is to change the world one step at a time. If we cannot figure out how to make plastics biodegrade, I don't know what happens to this planet. And scientists at UC San Diego have figured it out, creating the world's first fully biodegradable flip-flop. I'm Stephen Mayfield. I am professor of biology at UC San Diego. Dr. Mayfield is one of the inventors of algae flip-flops. Why is this important to create materials that are biodegradable, compostable? Why is that important? Because I think if we look at this planet and sort of what we've done to it over the last, you know, 50 years, I, I think everyone recognizes we can't continue to live the way we are. These are the uh, green algae actually growing. Using algae oil. And the flip-flops are not just a single oil. We have to actually mix several of them together. That's our secret sauce. They mix that sauce in this machine and then pour it into a waffle-like iron and create a flip-flop. Even the color itself is biodegradable. Under the right conditions, yeah, we think within about two years they would be completely gone. One question he gets a lot. Well, if they're biodegradable, why don't they biodegrade on your feet when you're wearing them? He says you need three things, material that biodegrades, a microorganism that can eat it, and water. When you want these to degrade, throw them in a compost pile where they'll stay wet all the time. And if you don't want them to degrade, just dry them out. Don't let them stay wet all the time and they'll be, they'll be safe. So it's not like I would have them on my feet out in the rain and suddenly I'd look down and Part of my toe would be sticking out because yeah. half the shoe would be gone. <laughs> yeah, no, that's not going to happen. But are they comfortable? So these are the prototypes here of all the flip-flops, right? Yes. The men's shoes, the women's shoes. we got to give them a test. This is a size 8 in women's, which is about twice as big as the shoe size I wear. I wear a size 4. Let's try them out anyway. I wore them for a few hours, and despite the fact they weren't my size, I mean, they're big, obviously, but they're comfortable. He says the mindset has to change when it comes to purchasing products. It's not just the cost of the actual bag you buy. It's what's the cost of the environment when we throw that bag away. So, you know, even though something might be more expensive up front, he says you have to factor in the cost of the environment. Uh, I should point out there's some really big name shoe companies that I can't name just yet that are working with them. The shoes are expected to be on sale in the UC San Diego bookstore by Christmas. They're hoping for a full launch sometime next year. And I know a lot of people want to know how much do they cost. The price is about 50 bucks. So this is what they look like. I have to say, looking at yes. them up close from a podiatry standpoint, <laughs> that's great. a really nice looking sole yes. with a good arch support. And you don't get that a lot in flip flops. In yes. fact, they can be a problem because of that, but these look great. I know, the contour, like if you yeah. feel them, just the fact that they're contoured so that they really mold to your feet, that's that was good something support. that I thought was really good. Very nice. I mean, they just really want this particular material to be used all over the world. Yeah. And they're not trying to hide it. They want right. everyone to use it. It's more expensive, yes. but cheap and disposable is what's getting us into this environmental mess so exactly. people just have to be a little more deliberate about this exactly all right thanks, Kelly. well we like it we're on board thanks Kelly <laughs> <They look cool. laughs>